for as long as we have been a country. We have been expanding and exploring, whether it has been into the depths of space, or in our own backyard on the American frontier. Americans have always been the most avid explorers, and today we will take you on one of the first and greatest explorations ever undertaken by Americans, the expeditions of Lewis and Clark. We start on April 11th, where Robert Livingston is offered all of the Louisiana Territory for $15 million. Livingston was only negotiating for the city of New, or New Orleans at this point in time, and was not authorized to buy all of the Louisiana Territory. But, fearing that France would withdraw, the offer went through anyway. Buying the entire territory for $15 million, $5 million more than he was told to spend. At the time, that amounted to be an average of about three cents per acre. Today, however, with inflation, that $15 million would be worth about $237 million. The territory was then officially purchased on April 30th, with the Americans signing the Louisiana Purchase Treaty. Back on the home front, the opposition was met with hostility. Many members of the Federalist Party deemed Jefferson a hypocrite, and many members of his own party, including Jefferson himself, questioned whether they had the authority under the Constitution to buy land from another country. Although it was faced with opposition, Jefferson's administration assured him that it was his constitutional right to make treaties, and the Louisiana Purchase was just that. On October 20th, Congress authorized the treaty, and the next day the United States took possession of the territory. Well. The new territory practically doubled the size of the United States, containing of what would be 13 states, from as far north as North Dakota to as far south as uh, Louisiana, from as far east as Missouri to as far west as Colorado. The new territory had never been thoroughly explored or mapped, and little was known about it in general. This prompted President Jefferson to call upon Captain Meriwether Lewis and Second Lieutenant William Clark. Jefferson chose Captain Lewis because of his potential to be a frontiersman. He also had extensive knowledge of the plants and animals, making him a great candidate for the expedition. Jefferson also made sure he was educated in medicine, making him learn from Benjamin Rush. Lewis also spent a great deal of time at Jefferson's house, Monticello, reading on what was known about the region. The primary objectives of their expedition was to explore and map the territory acquired from France. They were supposed to find an easy route to the west coast and stake claim to some of the, the territory on the west coast. The secondary objective was to document the plant and animal life of the new territory. They also had orders to create trade between some of the Native American tribes. The expedition went primarily down the Missouri River, a tributary of the Mississippi River. The, the group soon passed La Charette the last settlement established by Europeans on the Missouri River. The exhibition passed through what is modern day Kansas City, Missouri, and Omaha, Nebraska. On May 14, 1804, the Corps of Discovery made their departure from Camp Wood to rendezvous with Lewis and Clark in St. Charles, Missouri. They followed the Missouri River, going westward into areas unknown to Americans. In the duration of their expedition, Lewis and Clark made relations with over 12 Native American tribes. However, not all of them were friendly, as the United States and the Lakota Nation had issues. The Lakota Nations were known to the Americans as the Sioux Tribe. People warned of the Sioux, as they were aggressive and attempted to block trade at the Missouri River. Thankfully for the U.S. and the expedition, the Sioux were anticipating an attack 
from the Omaha tribes. Despite that, the militant tribe did not allow passage of the expedition through their territories unless more gifts were given to them. Because of their assertiveness, Clark referred to the Sioux as vilest miscreants of the savage race. Although comments like that would be considered as racist in today's world, back then it was normal for an American to make such a stance against Native American tribe. During the winter of 1805, the expedition party built Fort Mandan uh, as security in case of conflict with tribes near the area. Uh, as tensions grew, conflict seemed more imminent. However, conflict never actually arose between Lewis and Clark and the Sioux tribe. The expedition continued upriver, and when the expedition set up camp at Mandan Nation's territory, many Indians came to visit and stayed the night at their campsite. For a few days, the Mandan chiefs came and spoke with Lewis and Clark. With translations from Canadian French fur trader Toussaint de Charbonneau, who they also met. Charbonneau's wife was the now famous cultural figure Sacagawea. Both the expedition and the Mandan tribe were at peace with each other. By April 25th of that year, Captain Meriwether Lewis uh, wrote a progress report of their discoveries up to that point. Uh, President Thomas Jefferson would later present that report to the United States Congress. They went through Missouri, over the Continental Divide, through Lemmy Pass. Afterwards, they left the mountains to Clearwater River, Snake River, and then into the Columbia River, which led them straight to what is modern-day Portland, Oregon. They knew they had neared the Pacific Ocean when they encountered Mount Hood and other stratovolcanoes. On November 7th, 1805, the expedition reached the Pacific Ocean. They started their second winter north of the Columbia River. It was a tough one. Although their main food source was elk, there was none of it. They could have purchased food from the local tribes. However, they did not have enough money to buy supplies. Later in the month, they moved their party up to modern-day Astoria, Oregon. Lewis and Clark left, let their slave York and Sacagawea partake in the decision to move to the south side of the Columbia River. There, they constructed a new fort. It was called Fort Clatstock. The reason behind this constru its construction was not simply shelter and protection, but also to bring the American presence into the region. While there, Lewis spent more time writing in his journal. Most of the information he wrote about was botany and the vegetation of the area, mentioning the vast forest of the region. There was also an issue with the men in the party falling ill with colds and influenza. Although Lewis wanted to stay at the fort until April, he decided to leave early. On March 23rd, 1806, the return trip began. They began by canoeing on the Columbia River and then walking on foot to the next river. They went to Camp Chopinish in Idaho, where they gathered horses to help them best the Bitterroot Mountains. However, snow prevented them from crossing through there. They waited until the snow had cleared. On July 23rd, 1806, the expedition split into two so they could explore the Marius River. Lewis's group encountered members of the Blackfoot tribe. They attempted to steal Lewis's weapons. As a result, two Blackfoot members died in the failed attempt. Because of this, Lewis's group fled over a hundred miles before camping once again. On the other hand, there was Clark's group, who entered the territory of the Crow tribe. And a similar occurrence happened with Clark's group as they lost half of their horses mysteriously. There was not a single Crow member to be seen. Finally, the two groups reunited at Yellowstone and the Missouri Rivers. Although an incident occurred where one of Clark's hunters mistakenly shot Lewis, thinking he was an elk, injuring his thigh. They quickly returned to Missouri, back to safety, ending the expedition. In the end, Lewis and Clark achieved much of what was set for them. They reached the Pacific and established an American presence in an area with success. They created relations with over 24 Indian tribes during their expedition. The only thing they could not do was find a continuous body of water, which led to the Pacific. We still can't find one today.